I've been using the Panasonic GH5 for photography for over three years now, and now I have my hands on the Lumex S5. I got to take it out last month for a trip and shoot some photos on it. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you what I thought about the Lumex S5 for photography, and I'm also gonna show you some of the photos that I took along the way, so we'll get right into it. The lens I used for all of these photos was the Panasonic kit lens for the S5, which is the 20 to 60 millimeter 3.5 lens, and it did a pretty good job. So the Lumex S5 has a 24 megapixel sensor, which is a little bit better than the GH5s, but where it really stands out is the fact that the S5 is full frame, and obviously that is a huge win. So that is my first takeaway from shooting photos with the S5 is the ability to crank the ISO up without losing detail, without getting too much grain in my photos. I was actually blown away. Like some of these photos I took with an ISO between 3000, 5000, and I really didn't see too much deterioration in the photo. I even, while we were out there at night, I balanced the S5 on my shoe and took this night photo right here. And sure, maybe it's not the most beautiful photo. I was in a rush. It was minus 22 degrees Celsius out there. But you can see this camera, even with not the fastest lens, shot at a 3.5, still can hold up for some night photography. Overall though, the ability to crank the ISO on this camera and not lose detail in the images is far better than the GH5 and actually pretty comparable to some of the Sonys that I've shot on, shot on as well. All of these photos were edited in Lightroom using my Lumex photography preset pack for Lightroom using my camp preset, which you can check out below. The second thing I noticed about the S5 is that the autofocus is way, way faster than the GH5 for photos, and that is a huge win. That's something with the GH5 I've struggled with, uh, the autofocus being a little bit slower. The S5 autofocus is amazing, very fast. Again, kind of close to what I, I've experienced with some of the Sony A7S lineup. And I would just say that is a huge win when I go out to shoot action sports especially. That is going to be a huge help. So overall, it was just a quick trip I was out on and I didn't have a ton of time to shoot photos, but these are just some of the photos I shot along the way. And I have to say I am very happy with the S5. If I was also into photography, uh, kind of 50-50 between photography and video, I would suggest getting the S5 over the GH5. Um, for me, I'm more of a filmmaker, uh, so for anyone that's more of a filmmaker and photo is just kind of for fun on the side, I would still recommend getting the GH5 probably because there's a few things like the in-body stabilization that I think is better on the GH5 for filmmakers, uh, but if you are into photography, the S5 is an amazing hybrid of almost all the best features of the GH5, as well as even better, way better photography capabilities. So that's just a quick video. Again, all the photos were edited with my photography preset pack for Lumex. You can check it out below. And I'm also gonna make some tutorials on how I edit my photos on my Lumex, my Lumex photos in Lightroom. Comment below if you wanna see that. Let me know any questions you might have, anything you want to see me try with the S5, and I will see you guys in the next video.